Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, and welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own boost pads inside Roblox Studio. So if you don't know what boost pads are, it's going to be a pad where if you step on it, then you get like speed and jump boost and stuff like that. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is add in a part, make sure it's anchored, then I'm just going to be changing the colour and size. So this one, this one's going to be speed. So I'm just going to quickly add in a surface GUI. Here we go. So here's our first pad. I'm going to be renaming this. So if we right click it, rename, and then speed pad, like this. Inside of it, if we click it, click plus, and then add in a normal script. So inside the script, if you remove print hello world, and type in script, dot parent, dot touched, colon, connect, then two brackets, then in between brackets, we can type in function, then once again, two more brackets, and then hit. If you go down, a new engine appear with a bracket, and then we can type in if hit, and hit dot parent, colon, find, first, child, bracket speech marks, and then humanoid, and then then, go down, a new engine should appear, and then we can type in hit dot parent dot humanoid dot walk speed equals two and then let's do 32 and then if you want we can make it wait let's say 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds we can do hit dot parent dot humanoid dot walk speed equals to 16 which is the default walk speed so if you don't want them to go back to normal walk speed after a few seconds, then you can just remove this line. If you want, you can pause it to write it all out. So if you close it off, click play. Then once we load in and step on the touchpad, then we should be able to walk fast. So if you touch it, then you can see if I can walk faster. And after 10 seconds, then you can see it goes back to 16, which is the default player walk speed. And if you touch it, they can see if I can walk fast again. And let's move on to the next pad, which is going to be a jump boost pad. So yeah, so I'm just going to be clicking this pad, duplicating it, and changing the colour and the name. So jump pad. Then we can also change the text label if you have one to jump like that. Inside of it, once again, we can click the part, click plus, add in a script. And then type in script dot parent dot touched connect then function two brackets and then hit once go down a new entry will be with a bracket and then we can type in if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child bracket speech marks and then humanoid, then go down, a new engine should appear. Then once again, we can type in hit dot parent dot humanoid dot jump power equals two, and then let's do 150. Then after, let's say one second, then we can go down. And once again, hit dot parent dot humanoid jump power equals to 50. Also if you want to make it a bit better then underneath this line we can go down and do hit dot parent dot humanoid dot jump equals to true. So what this does is once the play steps on the pad then it automatically makes the play jump. So we close it off, click play. So once you step on it then you can see that we jump and we can actually jump really high, like this. And once again, the speed one works as well as the jump one. And that's going to be it for this uh, jump boost. So I'm going to be doing one more, which is a heel brick. So once again, if we just duplicate it, rename it, and then let's do heel pad. Once again, we can change the text. Then once again, click the part, click plus, Add in a script. So if we do script dot parent 
dot touched connect function brackets and then hit then what's going to do enter a a bracket then if we do if hit and hit dot parent find first child bracket speech marks and then humanoid then go down and then we could do hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health equals to hit dot parent dot humanoid dot health and then plus and then let's do 10 and once again that should be the script done so to actually test it out i'm going to be quickly adding in a damage brick just to see if we can actually heal so to do this if you want to know how to make a kill brick then if you open up the script and then this time let's just change plus to minus and then let's do 10 close it off then let's just quickly rename it and then if we test it out so because we already have full health then we can't really heal but if we touch this you can see that we lose some health step on it then you can see it goes back up to full health if we do it again oops that thing died let's try it again so we touch it and then step on the heal pad then you can see that it quickly goes back up to full health like this and once again we have a jump boost and a speed boost and guys that's going to be for today's video if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment subscribe down below in the description you can check out my robots group and discord server and i'll see you later bye